Refrigeration equipment makes up more than half of the electric bill in a restaurant or supermarket, so saving energy has become a top priority. And the easiest way to save more energy is to upgrade to a digital temperature control. It's inevitable that the future will be digital. With this company right here, Full Gauge Controls, they're the leader in the digital controller market. I'll be showing you how to connect the MT512 to a conventional refrigeration system. Here I have a mock-up of an actual system, so it should be pretty easy to follow. Before I start off, I just wanted to mention that if I had a defrost timer like this in my system, I would remove it now because the MT512 also takes the place of this defrost timer. And if I didn't, well now I have that option by simply entering a defrost duration into the controller. The time has come, my friends, for the conventional thermostat to go bye-bye. And we wanna have about a quarter inch or six millimeters of wire exposed to go into the controller. These two wires are left from our thermostat. One of them is our hot, coming from 115 volts. The other goes to our solenoid. Here's one more look at those connections. All I need now is power to my controller, and I'll get this from a neutral and a hot that come directly from my 115 volt line. Tighten down the terminals for my power wires, and the last thing I need to hook up is this temperature sensor right here. And it's pretty easy, it just goes right in these two sensor terminals, like all the other wires. Tighten that down. And this is our ambient temperature sensor. This we can mount anywhere in back of the evaporator coil or anywhere in the cooler box. Or we could even extend this up to like a thousand feet with regular two strand wire. I'm gonna give it a once over real quick. And here's our 115 volt line, which consists of a hot and a neutral. So terminal seven is connected to our neutral. Terminal eight is connected to our hot. Terminal 10 is our control circuit common, which is also connected to our hot. And terminal 11, which is our normally open control circuit goes directly to our solenoid valve. In supplement of this tutorial, here's an application specific wiring diagram and an application specific programming table. If you need them for reference, they can be found on the fullgauge.tv homepage under support documents. I know you think these are the best controllers you've ever seen, right? Don't you want to just eat one? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna eat one. Look at oh! <laughs>